everyone and welcome to art class today I'm going to be talking about the final for your class um, you guys have already done the research portion of this and now we're gonna do the art portion so keep calm and let's make some artwork uh, the research you've already done this part now use what you've learned about your artist and we're gonna make a journal page about them you may incorporate some of their work including sketches of things they might have drawn um, you could create a portrait of them. There really is no limit. And I'm going to dive a lot deeper into this in the next couple of slides here. Let's start with the requirements. You should be including your research in here somewhere. You don't have to include all of it, but at least a few important things you learned about your artist. So, for example, what materials were they using? Uh, what genre is their work considered? Did they make only a certain subject matter? Like maybe they only ever painted still lifes or landscapes. Uh, your writing that you do is could be handwritten. Uh, you could type it and cut it and paste it into your work in a collage-like style. Your writing may also be overlapping or get overlapped by some of your images. Uh, that's another reason I had you guys complete the research first. So even if part of your writing can't be seen or read, I'll know what information you are trying to incorporate. And continued requirements. You must incorporate some drawings, paintings, coloring, any material that you guys want slash have available right now at your homes, uh, but you have to do some art of your own somehow. You cannot just print off photos of this artist's work, cut them and paste them into your journal. If you feel it is necessary or you want to include a portrait of your artist, however, you may print off a portrait because I know portraits are really hard to draw and add uh, and paste that in there. If you want, I really don't think it's necessary to include a portrait, but some of you may really want to. Um, you can draw other things besides just the artist work. For example, if I have Jackson Pollock as my artist, and I may have learned that he did a lot of his paintings on a bridge by his house. He really liked the wooden texture, so he'd put his canvas right on the bridge just to get that texture. So maybe I wanna draw a bridge overlooking a river. Um, or I learned he painted with mostly just sticks and leaves. He didn't wanna buy brushes. So I could draw sticks and leaves that are dripping with paint. Uh, you could even attach sticks or leaves to your journal page make it more like a collage, uh, or you could create your journal page outside on a bridge to get textured just like Jackson Pollock did. It would be really like, almost like a Jackson Pollock painting itself then. Um, or let's say you researched a photographer, because I know a few of you even have that as a career path. Um, you could draw a camera or things they like to photograph. Um, and I know like you don't have to draw it like photorealistic because that's not what this is about. So if it's a little bit different, that's okay. Uh, what you will be graded on. So there are five categories. Each category is worth 10 points, adding up to 50 points total for this project. Uh, requirements. Did you complete all your requirements? Are there facts about your artist in your artwork? Are there drawings, painting, artwork that you created? Did you use the full page? Uh, you should be using the full page, whatever you're creating on. If you are doing this in a journal, you could use one pages or two pages. In the, I haven't done this project um, since I taught at Jefferson. We used to have them do it on two journal pages. Like they opened up the page and they did both pages by, side by side. So a lot of the examples you're gonna see are from those. You could use two pieces of paper, that's totally fine. Uh, elements and principles. Is your project plan carefully? Did you use elements and principles to create a co strong composition? Creativity. How does your journal page represent your artist? Uh, what did you do to make it look like a page from that artist journal? Craftsmanship. Does, this does not mean you guys can't have drips or splatters on your journal pages, um, but it does. Does it look like your work's intentional? Is this done neat? Is it thought out? Not just scribbled in the last minute. Time and effort. Does it look like you gave this project time, thought, and energy? Is this your best work for your final? All right, so let's look at some examples here. Uh, starting with the first one here on the left, 
Uh, you can see a student has tons of facts about the artist all over the page. Um, it's even going through some of the artwork. Uh, and then, of course, they're the next one everyone knows, Van Gogh. And like I said, if you're using Van Gogh, you do have to incorporate something else besides just Starry Night. I know a lot about that painting. Most of us do. Um, it'd be really cool if your artist did have some famous quotes. I love how this person has the quotes like nice and highlighted um, and outlined if they did have some. Just an idea. Uh, this one, Charles Bell. There is a lot going on here. Uh, this student, if you, if you're going to do as much as this student did, um, they did print out some famous paintings of Charles Bell's, but as you can see, they have so much drawing as well on the page that I don't think it's a problem that they printed out some. That would have been a crazy amount of drawing if they tried to draw that like picture that's in the bottom left hand corner um because yeah <laughs> clearly they've done enough just a few more here to show you guys As you can see, a lot of um, these, though, have the words like being overlapped by paint and materials. So really think about doing that. Like, I don't think the writing needs to be completely readable. When complete, include your name on your piece or on a post-it note in the photo you take somewhere. Uh, so you don't have to write your name directly on the journal page if you don't want to. If you're doing yours is two pages long, you can submit more than one photo if that's easier. I do want to be able to read these from your photographs, so don't take a photo that's so far away I can't see what's going on. Um, turn it in on Google Classroom. And guys, this is it. Uh, once you finish, there's no final test or anything for this class. Make sure you have all your work turned in on Skyward. Any missing assignments are turned in. If they're marked missing right now, they'll be turned to a zero if they're not already, so get those in. And if you are done early but still want to make art and you need some inspiration, I'm still going to be uploading just some fun sketchbook ideas slash extra activities up until the last day of school, June 3rd. So if you get done early and just need something to do. Have fun creating, everyone. I wish we all could have finished this semester together, but I miss you all like crazy, and I hope to see you in art classes again. And for my graduating seniors, congratulations, guys.